New tonight, a series of search warrant affidavits are shining new light on the Sean Williams case. Williams, who faces federal weapons and drug trafficking charges, is a subject of two civil lawsuits against the Johnson City Police Department over their handling of sexual assault cases. These search warrants affidavits filed between May the 31st and July the 19th describe evidence of dozens of alleged sexual assaults committed by Williams found on hard drives after he was arrested on drug trafficking charges charges in North Carolina back in April. In our top story tonight, News Channel 11's John Janko joins us with what investigators say that they found. Ansley, in these affidavits, investigators say those hard drives contained images in video of 52 women allegedly being sexually assaulted by a man they identified as Sean Williams. They say those drives also contained thousands of images of child pornography, including two series of images of, male of a male investigators say is Williams sexually assaulting children as young as a year old. The documents say investigators have probable cause to believe Williams has committed sexual crimes and believe other hard drives in JCPD's possession could have even more evidence. Newly revealed documents suggest investigators have probable cause to believe Sean Williams allegedly committed aggravated rape, aggravated rape of a child, sexual exploitation of a minor, and unlawful photography in violation of privacy. Evidence to support those potential charges came after Williams' arrest on drug trafficking charges by Western Carolina University Police in April. At least four of those alleged recorded assaults were against women who later filed police reports with Johnson City Police. They occurred between November 2019 and November 2020. According to an affidavit filed May 31st by First Judicial District Investigator Mike Little, Western Carolina University Police found several digital storage devices in Williams's car, which contained videos and photos of 52 women allegedly being sexually assaulted by Williams at his downtown Johnson City apartment. The affidavit says the assaults occurred while the women were unconscious. Investigators say they can identify Williams by his tattoos and face in the video. Among the files were over 5,000 images of child pornography, including two instances where investigators say Williams sexually assaulted children, one less than a year old and another under the age of eight. The hard drives contained file folders named after victims. Two of those victims are detailed in additional search warrant affidavits filed by Little and JCPD investigator Thomas Sparks, one happening in 2019, the other in 2020. Both described the victims coming up to Williams's apartment. The 2019 victim told investigators she drank an alcoholic beverage from Williams, felt lethargic and blacked out. The 2020 victim said she awoke to being sexually assaulted by Williams. Rape kits were completed on both women when they made their complaints. Little's affidavit suggests there may be more evidence of Williams committing alleged sexual assaults. Almost a dozen digital storage devices were taken from Williams's apartment during a search warrant following Michaela Evans's fall from the fifth story window in September 2020. In his conclusion, Little writes it is highly likely, if not probable, those devices contain additional images. He requested those items thought to still be in evidence at JCPD in his successful search warrant request. They had remained with the department since the original September 2020 search warrant. Sparks and Little's other search warrants requested an oral swab of Williams to test for possible DNA matches found in the rape kits from the 20. 2019 and 2020 victims. Although search warrants were obtained, we do not yet know if they produced any additional evidence. Little was also granted a search warrant for Meta, the parent company of Facebook, for information on Williams's Facebook profile. Williams has not been charged with any sexual assaults. John, thanks. We reached out to the district attorney's office about that search warrant and those affidavits. The DA tells us that due to the investigation being active, he cannot comment right now. You can read more about these affidavits and check out our previous reporting on the Sean Williams case on our website, WJHL.com.